Welcome back everybody. This is part four of four of what I've been calling the snap-on mother load. I am recording this about four months after I received all the items from Michigan. I have one box left to go, a uh, box number 10, and then I will cover what's on the table. Following that, we will talk about how I acquired these tools, being that it was a 12-hour round trip that I did not take to go and get them, and they did not ship them to me. I will also cover the cost, total cost, and I'll show you some of the lots I bought, how much I paid per lot. Almost 97% of our viewers are not subscribed. Become a subscriber today. It really helps out the channel. Thank you. Box number 10. All right, starting off box 10, we have this set of metric stubby hex bits. And then a, a standard set of SAE. Snap on, of course, just like the first set. They have this uh, KD pliers. Not sure what it's for. Um, looks like crimping something together. Uh, see if we can pick up the part number. And next up is this blue point pliers. I believe this is for um, popping up like door panels. Next up, we have this snap on 3H drive impact extension. And we have this little set of, uh, uh, it's a little set of uh, Torx screwdrivers. So next up we have this set of uh, Snap-on metric hex bits. We've got a 3 ace drive a set of low profile sockets, metric, Snap-on. Uh, this little case was at the bottom of the box. It's from a set of right tools. We have this uh, mini Snap-on stubby round head quarter inch drive, so it's a fine tooth ratchet. Nice little hard handle quarter inch drive ratchet. A long handle uh, quarter inch drive ratchet. And then we have a, uh, looks like a four inch extension. Ooh. We have a 10 millimeter 12 point uh, quarter inch swivel. That's always a good one. Then we have a two inch extension, one inch, and here we got a six inch wobble quarter. And there's this little breaker here. Uh, this breaker bar is actually made by Wright. All right, next up we have this set of locking extensions that would go into a hex bit driver or a drill. And, yep, it does say snap on. So that's a pretty neat little set. All right, moving on, we have this set of uh, quarter inch drive low profile metric sockets, snap on. We've got a rail here with snap on SAE, a deep and shallow quarter inch drive. All right, next up is this um, Accu tire, uh, tire pressure gauge. I don't know if that's a good one. Um, sure comes in a nice case. So this is a set of snap-on quarter-inch swivels, metric, plus a, a little swivel adapter. So this must have been on here, and the mechan or, and when I picked up that set with the magnet, I must have pulled it off. You know, I go back and forth whether I should use rails like this in my toolbox or magnetic holders like that. Let me know if you guys have a preference. They're both very nice. Ah, uh, we also have this 3 8 uh, lock button uh, swivel, snap on, impact swivel. And then we have another rail in here. Uh, these are actually Matco quarter inch drive uh, SAE swivels. And then we have this set of deep quarter inch drive non-impact magnetic sockets. And next up we have this uh, set of metric, I would think these are deep or semi-deep impact swivels by Snap-on. Nine pieces, I don't know if that's a full set or not, but nine pieces in here. All right, next is this Snap-on, let's see, is that OCR2? So I had to look at the paper in here. It says it's for uh, removing uh, radiator reservoir caps. Oil, ca oil filler caps on Audi Honda and oil fill caps on Audi 
Honda, Toyota, Chevy, Ford, and Jeep vehicles. So, that's interesting. Never seen that before. And we also have a set of shallow snap-on metric impact swivels. 11-piece. Uh, Last time in the box, and I won't take them all out of the bag, is a set of snap-on uh, metric half-inch drive deep impact sockets. I think I count about 14 of them in there. Let's see what the bigger ones are. The 24. So I was holding a 10. That's a 24. Uh, 10 to 24 is a 20. Is a I'm sorry. It's a 15-piece set. So uh, this could be a full 10 to 24 set. Looks like it's barely used. And that's box 10. Okay, so the last of the tools I bought, which is actually the first thing I bought, is this set of Blue Point metric flex head wrenches. This is a 12 piece set. They are very dirty, like the other tools, but everything is going to clean up very easily. I paid up for these. I'll flash the price on the screen. Uh, this was the first lot I won. I was actually kind of getting blown out of the water um, up until this point. Um, so I broke the ice with these and then from there, um, as you'll see, I definitely paid up for some lots and some other lots I've got a good deal on. Um, next up, we're going to show you some, uh, collectibles, basically. I wouldn't normally buy these, uh, especially if they were shipping, I would never buy these. Had someone going there, so figured I might as well get these if they're cheap enough, and they were, in my opinion. I'll flash the prices on the screen, uh, of what I paid as we go here. Um, I'm going to likely keep um, what I what I'm about to show you. I've never had pieces like this before and I think they're kind of neat So the first one up here is a 1 8 scale of the uh, tool wagon This is the type of uh, box you usually see um, at the racetrack um, a lot of uh, race teams have boxes like this and like I said, I've never owned one of these before, but I believe most of the drawers even have tools in them. I'm not going to open them right now and go through them. Um, but I believe the drawers, at least some of the drawers, have tools. Uh, the next up here is a bank, a 1 8 scale bank of a KRL uh, 1001 and a KRL 1201. And then the last of the die cast is this one here, which is a... KR7100C and I think this might be a bank as well um, I'm not 100% sure I haven't really checked it out but uh, I don't really know how this operates totally I know when you push down on these it opens a couple of drawers and I see one of the drawers has a couple tools in And I think there's only two or three drawers in this one that actually open. And then it has the side locker here. So I don't know if it's actually a bank. But uh, I guess I'll have to look into it. It does have this uh, piece on the bottom that opens. And I'm not sure why I would have that if it wasn't a bank. Although, I don't know where the money would be going in if it was a bank. So, yeah, I have to do a little more research on this one. And then the last thing I got here is a four piece, so it's only a setting for one of this uh, flatware by Snap On. So that ends what I bought. Now I'll go into detail about how I uh, received these and what I paid for them. In the first video, I mentioned that this auction was over six hours away each way. It was on the pickup was on a Tuesday. I have an 11 year old child, I'm a single father. I can't just duck out for a full day. And I have an uncle that lives in Phoenix that likes to come home once or twice a year to visit family. Well, if you're into tool haul videos, he also does tool haul videos where he focuses on Snap-on, Mac, Mac, Matco, Cornwell, and, you know, just really clean, nice old stock craftsman tools and so on. So if you like tool haul videos, I'll leave a link in the description. Check them out. Give them some subscribers. You know, it, he makes good videos and has he has good tools. He agreed to fly home, visit with family for a few days, and, and drive up and get them for me. They drove up on Monday, spent the night, loaded up first thing like 7 a.m. on Tuesday, and drove them back to Appleton, which is a three-hour round trip for me. So I met him up there. We did the switch. Of course, you know, I need to compensate him for this. 
if we look at lot 52, it was a box full of ratchets. There's 18 ratchets in the box, 14 are snap-on. Well, I mean, there's a couple breaker bars, but 14 are snap-on and four are blue point. Just really high-end stuff that, that you'd really pay a lot of money for if you bought them off the truck. So I came up with the idea that, hey, you can take half of this box. Uh, you can have first choice. And he agreed to that. So I paid 560 on the hammer price for this, all in 645. So if we look at it like, well, half a box cost me 325, um, that's basically what I what I had to pay out of pocket. Now retail, let's say eBay value, he walked away with uh, $775 worth of ratchets. Uh, he was good with that, and I was good with it. I've actually paid more in shipping for a lot less. Uh, you got to be careful with these auctions online. You will get burned bad with the shipping. You better figure out how they're going to ship, who they're going to use, how much they're going to charge you uh, for handling and all that stuff in advance because you will get burned bad and it'll make a good buy, a bad buy extremely fast. Um, as far as what I paid for everything in total, I'm going to kind of flash some of the lots on the screen. You'll get to see the sold price. Uh, you need to add around 20% to figure out what it was with the fees. And I'm not going to flash like all 45 lots that I won. I'm just going to, you know, do some of the bigger ones. Now, there was a lot of risk taking in this auction. If we look at lot 189, the description is six point deep, mid and shallow swivel sockets. There's one photo. There's only one photo. There's no other description. There's no brands listed. There's no up-close photos. There's no side photos. Um, and all the sockets are looking at you. You can't see what the brand is when you're looking at the open end of a socket. Usually it's around the base. Well, I had to make an educated decision on this lot. Like, um, you know, were these off a tool truck? Were they, you know, U.S. made, but maybe made by Craftsman or Proto or whatever? I have no idea. Were they possibly Harbor Freight? No idea. This is where you have to take a gamble, or, well, at least you have to be, you know, willing to take a gamble. You have to be willing to pay $275 for a box of sockets when you can't see what you're getting. I have a pretty good idea of what I do, but I get burned too. I mean, I've, I've bought stuff that I thought it was uh, something, and it, it turned out to be something else, and I paid shipping for that stuff, and I got burned <laughs> on the buy price and I got burned on the shipping because I didn't want it in the first place. But I looked at what this person was selling and everything one after another was blue point snap on Matco. There was no junk in here. And the fact that they're on the rails that cost $30 a piece tells me they're probably not crap sockets. Well, when I got them back, it turns out four of the rails were snap on and two were Matco and the far left rail that's a half inch impact swivel set metric snap on. Those are near a thousand dollars new. So to me, that set alone was worth what I paid for the box. Now I could have, I could have been burnt. I definitely could have, but it, I got lucky. You know, I, I made an educated guess and I, it worked out for me this time. So for everything, I paid $5,064.60. And then I gave away I guess uh, potential sales of $750 in ratchets and I drove three hours round trip. So that's what it took to buy these, to get them back home. And, uh, it turns out pretty much everything I didn't know what it was turned out to be snap on. Not only that, it was all really clean. And, uh, that's all for this one. I really appreciate you guys watching. I know it's kind of a pain to watch four different parts. I appreciate you sticking it out. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.